When I was a kid, I dreamed of being a writer and having a sailboat and living in a big old house on the water. Hi, I'm Silver Donald Cameron, and I'm here to tell you those dreams came true. I've written 16 books, many of them about sailing. And that big blue house is my dream house. My family and I painstakingly restored it, and I never intended to leave it. But my life changed dramatically, and the house has become available for another sailor, another dreamer. This is the house seen from the road. In 1983-84, it was completely gutted and restored. New plumbing, wiring, heating, heavy insulation everywhere. New double-glazed windows and custom-built doors. New roof, new basement, new chimney, new floors, and much more. It's a new house, built inside a sturdy old shell. Let's go inside. This is the front foyer with a ceramic floor and all the fancy Victorian trim carefully restored. It's a dignified foyer for a dignified house, originally built for a doctor in the 1890s. This is the front hall with the main staircase leading upstairs. You can see the ceramic tiles in the kitchen and beyond the kitchen is the den. This is what you'd see if you turned around, the foyer from inside the house. That's original handmade 19th century glass surrounding the French door. Now we enter the fully modernized kitchen. Its most recent upgrade was in 2005 when we put in the new floors, new countertops and the range hood. There's a two-sided heat circulating fireplace in the kitchen. It's also open to the dining room. The puppy's name is Talisker Sea Dog McTavish. McTavish to his friends. And no, I'm sorry, McTavish is not for sale. The den as you enter from the kitchen. The window on the left looks over the harbor. The window on the right looks out into a very private sheltered garden. The den looking towards the dining room. The window on the left is the one that looks into the sheltered garden. On the ground level, all floors are either solid hardwood or ceramic tile. The dining room as you enter from the den with the living room beyond. The dining room looking back from the living room. Both these windows look out into the sheltered garden. One brilliant feature of this house is that the floor plan gives every room two large windows on adjacent walls, so the house is flooded with light. This wall of the dining room is shared with the kitchen. This is the other side of the heat circulating fireplace. Hot air blows out through the grill above it. You can see the color of the kitchen floor right through the fireplace. The living room, connected by an arch to the dining room. There's a big bay window out of the picture on the right. There are heavy velvet curtains in several rooms, and they all go with the house. There's ample storage for boots and outer clothing in the back porch. Winter coats go up above during the summer, and summer coats go up during the fall. The entrance to a half bathroom is to the left of the window. Here's the half bathroom with toilet and sink tucked away under the back staircase. To summarize, the ground floor has a living room, dining room, den, kitchen, vanity, and two entry porches. Let's go up the front stairs. There's also a back staircase. The bright and airy south-facing master bedroom with generous closets for him and her. The ensuite master bathroom with ceramic tiles and a traditional roll top tub. The second bedroom has built in bunks, a built in closet, and two large windows. 
the third bedroom used as an office with a harbor view from the desk. The fourth bedroom is my office and it also has a view of the harbor from the window at the desk. The largest of the three bathrooms is at the back of the house and doubles as a laundry room. These appliances will also stay with the house. The window swings open to give access to an outdoor clothesline. The roll top tub in this bathroom is fitted with a shower. The top of the back staircase heading downstairs. In summary, the upstairs has four bedrooms and two full baths and one of the bathrooms is also a laundry room. And here's the back staircase with clear plastic panels instead of balusters. You can also see the door to the half bathroom tucked away under the stairs. The basement has 10 foot ceilings, a complete workshop, a combination wood oil furnace and double doors under the deck that allow a pickup truck to come right in the basement with a load of firewood. The back of the house seen from the shore. Note the generous deck, the sheltered garden behind the fence to the left and the gazebo in the foreground. The inside of the sheltered garden with fruit trees, roses, honeysuckle and ivy vines and a fire pit. If you look closely you'll see McTavish again in front of the cedar trees which form a hedge at the border of the property. Here's a view from the back of the house at sunrise. And in winter. And in the mist. And this is the view on a September morning looking to the left instead of the right. Here's a map to help you orient yourself. The red arrow in the top panel points to Isle Madame. The lower panel shows the island and Descous is on the northeast coast just above the E in Madame. This is an aerial photo of Descous Harbour. Our house is just to the left of the wharf which sticks out into the water at the bottom of the photo. Here are some scenes around Isle Madame just to give you a flavor of this little fragment of paradise. The courthouse, the bishop's palace and an 1838 farmhouse. The Arishat Church was built in 1838 as a cathedral. Pondville Beach is about five minutes drive from our house. The cannons were installed after John Paul Jones sacked Isle Madame's fisheries during the American Revolution. And the wooden stone anchor is what the Vikings used. It was still used by Isle Madame fishermen until quite recently. So, let's settle down on the deck with a glass of something cold. And if you want to stay here for a day, a month or a lifetime, that can be arranged. It isn't even expensive. Just call me, Silver Donald Cameron, 902-227-5245. We look forward to hearing from you. Oh, before I go, here are some of the books written in this house. To find out more about them, visit my website at www.silverdonaldcameron.ca. Thanks for watching this.